Um, and then for both of y'all, like what's been like the biggest, biggest obstacle that you face either getting into this, coming up with the label, booking shows, like wherever in your journey you can identify like, man, that shit was hard. Like, but we figured it out. Yeah. Just pretty much any, like a lot of things when you starting up, cause you got the people that's going to say no, the people that you know, that ain't going to help you. You feel me? Then you got the good stuff, whereas people that you don't know, it'd be the people you don't know that help you. You know, people that ran off, you learn. It's like you learn from it, you know, and it elevated you. you know? It's just mainly, I guess you could just say, the experience with it. Mm -hmm. Starting from scratch, not nobody there telling you, hey, do this, do that. It's just your own research. You doing it yourself, ultimately, mm -hmm. to the point to where it's like, okay, now I know, I know this, I know that now, I know this, oh damn, I didn't know that. So now it's just getting easier to maneuver in this industry. Mm -hmm. So I think that's more so what I would say be the most difficult. For sure, a big adjustment of the mindset too. You mm -hmm. know, it's just like yeah. kind of shifting gears into that, all right, taking it seriously. You gotta do the research to figure it out. Not mm -hmm. everybody's like tapping back in to like provide or share resources too. So it get tricky and then you try to figure out like who to keep around or you know, like yeah. who to kind of, what you know what I'm saying, in terms of your path, like who to keep aligned with, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. that's important as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. cause anybody can get a feature, but it's just mm -hmm. what you gonna do with it. What you gonna do? What you gonna do with what you get. Yeah. You know uh, and then speaking of features, like if there was anybody dead or alive, so if there's anybody dead or alive, like that you could do a feature with, who would it be? For sure, hustle man. I for sure do one with hustle man. For sure. For sure. What was uh, something that was inspiring about his story? Nip man, he just the struggle man. How, how it's like how you how he came up out of it. Yeah. And it's like life a marathon. You know, you gotta just keep going. And even when you get to the destination that you want to go to, you still got to keep working and keep right, going. Yeah. You know, you got to just keep elevating your game and, and your craft. Yeah, that's right. yeah. It's like a race inside of a race always, because even like you were saying, once you get to the destination, it's all right, what I'm going to do now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's never really over. It's like, all right, I learned what I need to learn for this. But now that I'm at where I'm at, I got to learn what I need to learn to be where I'm at now. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And still take that to the next level. Mm -hmm. It's like checking off goals. It's like, okay, you hit these goals. Now it's time to go make some new ones. You know? I rock with that 100%. And when it comes to like, uh, you know, man managing talent and kind of being in that space, like, uh, like in the executive position, are there any executives just in general that you admire or kind of think is doing it the right way or is inspiring you and kind of the way you're pushing forward with what y'all got going? As far as that, and it could be other labels too. If it's not a specific person, you see, man, I don't know who's running that group over there, but they really, you know, what I'm saying, make it happen. Mm -hmm. I guess more so for me, like I look at it as, you know, more so Diddy. Okay. Yeah. Also, Suge. Like, you know, people can say what they want about Suge, but. At the end of the day, you got to give him his props. He was a businessman. Diddy was a businessman as well. You know what I mean? And I look at them more so because they started from scratch. Not people getting on, then making their label or, oh, I got this label now and that label's under another label. That's under another label. So it's like I more so watch them because, you know, you start with nothing. Like it's me. These dudes, we building that up. And another one as well is... Um, Blue Bucks too, you know, Noye and Jeezy and um, DJ and them, they did that as well too, you know, look, it's just us, you know, but a lot of people, it, when they do that, they tend to still, they just don't, it's hard to stay afloat, you know what I mean? And so that's mainly just the thing right now, staying afloat and staying consistent as far as not taking no breaks. Because right. yeah. you got people that take them breaks, then when they come back and this ain't, I mean, that year or two you been gone, there's other people that have been working now. Now you competing with them, they not changed the vibe up. Now your style ain't, you know what I mean? So you gotta, that consistency. Got to. 
definitely.